When you use a barcode scanner, typically you would connect to a host device using Bluetooth or wired connection. It would be a phone, tablet, or a computer. However, suppose you don't have your host device with you, or perhaps you don't want to bring it with you. You're still able to use your scanner using a feature called memory mode. Using this mode, you won't need your host device with you to use your scanner. Instead, you can scan what you need and then later on, you can plug in your scanner to a computer and be able to read the barcodes that you scanned earlier. This would be most helpful for inventory tracking, keeping track of attendance, and event tracking. With memory mode, you can eliminate the hassle of carrying another device with you when you are scanning information. As a byproduct, you can potentially increase efficiency and productivity, and also you wouldn't have to worry about draining the battery of your host device. This feature is available for the following devices that you see on the screen right now. You're going to need your manual. If you don't have one, then the manual for this particular scanner is in the description of the video. If you have a different scanner, we will have that in the description as well. In your manual, you want to find memory mode. Take your scanner and scan memory mode. At this point in time, anything you scan will be collected using the memory of your scanner. But typically, you would want to know the date and time that you scanned each item. Just as a side note, you have to be in memory mode in order to set the date and time. So now, I'm going to show you how to do that. So to set the date, you want to find the page where it says date and time setup. Now you want to scan set date. And the default format is last two digits of the year, the month, and the day. So today is June 20th, 2018. We are going to go to this page and scan 1, 8, 0, 6, 2, 0. And then we go back to this page and scan set date again to confirm. Now we're going to set the time and it's more or less the same process except the format is going to be hour, minute, and second. So the time right now is 10.58. So we're going to scan one zero five eight zero zero and we're gonna go back here and set the time keep in mind that the barcode scanners memory does not function like a computer so if it happens to run out of battery most likely you will need to set the time and date again so make sure your barcode scanner is fully charged to see if it's working we're gonna scan a few test barcodes Now we're going to plug it into the computer to see the data that we scanned. I'm going to plug it into my computer and we will see that it pops up almost like a USB flash drive. And once we open it, we can see the text file with all the test barcodes that we scanned earlier, along with the date and time that we scanned them. That's how we know that memory mode is working as intended. If you want to view your scanned data in Excel, go to File, Open, then Browse. You want to find your barcode scanner and click on it. By default, you won't see anything. Just set it to detect all files so that it would show up. You can now open it using Excel. You will be prompted to set a delimiter, which is what allows Excel to properly separate your data into their respective cells. Make sure delimiter is ticked, then hit next. Our barcode data is separated with commas, so I will use comma as my delimiter. And then we can press finish. We can now see our data with a date, the time and barcodes in separate columns. Just note that you might have to format some of the cells for the barcode data to appear the way you want it to. You can also import your scanned data into your company's database. If you have any questions regarding this topic, you can leave your question in the comments below or you can email us at support at arcscan.com and we will get back to you right away. If you found this guide useful, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tips like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay updated. Any related products will be in the description of the video. We'll see you in the next one.